Welcome to FitForMoon.com. We're at the Showroom Theater in Asbury Park once again for Comedy on Cooking with stand-up comic Kevin Garifo. Kevin, thanks for coming out, man. Thank you, man. Thanks a lot. How, what's your history? What's your comedy bio? How do you get from you know little Kevin Garifo to right here at the showroom tonight? Ah, uh, well, it's it's been a, a wild ride, a number of years uh, performing, struggling around uh, uh, local comedy clubs, uh, uh, bar shows, um, stuff like that, and then just getting lucky, meeting the right people, and. Uh, and getting great opportunities like this one that you presented uh, me with tonight. Appreciate it. I love drinking, I love going to bars. I'm a creature of habit when I go to bars. Uh, every time I go to the bar, I get the same thing. The ugly chick. <laughs> <laughs> now what's your writing style? Do you write everything down? Do you, you know, iPhone, voice message, what do you, what do? You do? Uh, what I do is like, and first obviously it all starts with the idea in your head, and then uh, a lot of people like write word for, I've seen people with journals and stuff, that's not me. Uh, write down the idea, the premise, and then I'll usually either just um, kind of add a little bit when I go along or, or just think it's like set up punch and then anything in between I just kind of fill in uh, myself. My favorite fight, uh, fast food is White Castle, I said it before, I love White Castle. But uh, I treat White Castle kind of like uh, a girl that I've been dating for four or five years but refused to marry. Let me explain myself. It's like, I love you, but I'm not going to marry you because I know exactly how you'll treat me in the morning. <laughs> how would you describe your performance style? If somebody comes to a Kevin Garifo show, what are they in for? Uh, they're in for some energy. They're in for some, uh, hopefully some laughs. Uh, obviously that's the, the main goal. Um, but you're in for a good time and you're in to have fun. Uh, I don't take too many shots. Uh, I just like to, to just talk about stuff that people can hopefully get some amusement out of that they think of themselves. Hopefully it connects, you know, the connection is what you want. I had a pretty successful 2014 thus far. Uh, I had a, I pitched an idea to uh, to, to Comcast for a 24-hour cable network. It's uh, it's an all dentistry uh, channel. <laughs> it's called the Enamel Planet. <laughs> now, how does somebody become a fan after seeing that energy and seeing you live? They want to track you down online. What's the best way to become a fan? Ah, uh, um, uh, Facebook probably. Uh, uh, Facebook slash you know Kevin Joseph Garifo. Um, Twitter at Kevin Garifo, that's G-A-R-I-F-O. Um, I'll post all my stuff on Facebook and, uh, and Twitter. I need your top five stand-up comics of all time. It's top five of all time, Jerry Seinfeld, uh, Mark Normand, Anthony Jeselnik, Mitch Hedberg, and I will say uh, Sam Morrill, up and coming guys. What are your top four venues to perform at anywhere on earth? Top four. Uh, I love colleges. Any college, university in front of kids is uh, is great. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Caroline's was great. Uh, uh, any uh, intimate bar show is fine. Um, and I'll say theater shows like this. Pre-show, what's in your headphones? What are we listening to? We are listening to uh, anything from Dropkick Murphys to uh, the Imagine Dragons to Gaslight Anthem. Done. Top two comedy movies of all time. Uh, Trading Places, and Billy Madison. And I need one reason why everybody should check out Kevin Garifo. Wow. Uh, because it's the place to be. Boom. <laughs>